Welcome to the show, Genuine. Hey, what's up, brother? Dude, you just got off stage. You're crushing up there. Oh, thank you, man. You know what? I've been off for like two, two or three weeks, and my voice was a little raspy, but like it always does once the um, the girl starts screaming and all that, I come up out of it and and I get on horse, especially when you um sweating. Yeah. You know, it opens your vocal cords. But I was like, man, I got to get get back in the house and go to sleep because I didn't. I, I've been up for almost forty eight hours. I, I came Why? from Phoenix today. Oh, okay, because you had to fly. So in. I didn't want to go to sleep yesterday because I said, okay, I got to get acclimated to the time or whatever, and ended up getting on the plane and not going to sleep, looking at some movie. Oh my <laughs> so, god! <laughs> and once I got here, had to get a haircut and had to do all that stuff. Yeah, I'm going in the room tonight and going to bed. How was your experience on stage? You were soaking wet, right? Yeah, I was soaked, man. Um, I was. It was slippery up there too. So yeah. I'm sorry, um, everybody. Yeah, I'm older, but I still can move a little more. But I was scared that I was gonna bust my booty. So I just, I was just doing my sexy two step. <laughs> I think you crushed it. Have you always done the rose thing? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely, your, definitely the, the roses, and I got the the panties and the um and the shirts. That's that's new because you know <laughs> I'm 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 always I started out for the ladies and I'm an end for the ladies. So um that's who I do it for, man. And I just want to tell all the ladies, I appreciate you. Thank you for supporting me for 28 years. Um, you know, I'm still gone every weekend traveling the world yeah. and most people would give their right arm to um you know be you know do this on the level that we're doing it so it's always a blessing and i'm always appreciative so thank you guys for always supporting yeah absolutely i mean you've had you've had a long career yeah. Early, people a lot of times talk negatively about the music industry mm -hmm. and they always complain about how things have gone but mm -hmm. in what way is the industry better or what's a positive thing about the industry these days versus when you came up you know what i i, I really don't i can't say anything about whether it's good or bad because i don't want to sound like a hater i just want to sure. tell all the youngsters that keep doing what you're doing if you're making money you're making a living for you and your family and you love what you're doing and not doing it just for the money continue to do what you're doing and do it the best that you can me personally today's music it's not my cup of tea but that sure. doesn't mean it's not good it's just that i came up in the era of the 90s early i mean late 80s listening to disco and sure. hip-hop and you know r&b music and you know it's just it's different now it is different but i gotta give a shout out to one of my little brothers uh chris brown um trey songs um uh her I love I love uh, uh, her. You know what I mean. Yeah. She she can sing her butt off. And um, shouts out to my sister Missy Elliott. I can go on and on, but those yeah. are the people that I still listen to. I listen to old school when I turn on the radio, man. I really, I'm not a hater or anything like that. I just don't listen to that, so I don't even know who's out. I mean, sure. my kids. I got I got seven daughters, right? Yeah. And so they're always <laughs> coming to me. Dad, did you know somebody? Uh, this person used your song. I'll be like, who is it? Sure. And then and they. Got to pull it up and all that and of course i know because i say yes to ev everything i don't i would never understand why you know artists that's been here for a long time would say no to a new artist using their music i just never say no i say yeah 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 all the time sure yeah why because you want to help inspire that one i want to help inspire and they keep me relevant sure you yeah, understand yeah. and um you never know what's gonna pop off so um there was this cat um named pop smoke yeah. Rest in peace. He did differences, and he uh, like that. He yeah. and 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 we got an award for that, uh, ASCAP award. So oh, sure. I mean, I opened my door. You know, somebody uh, the mailman knocked on my door. Had this big old plaque, and <laughs> and of course it was wrapped up. And I was like, what is this? I didn't order anything. Yeah. And so I totally forgot. Again, I say yes to everything. So, but I didn't hear it a lot. But um, yeah, I got a plaque, man. So I'm thankful for that. R.I.P. Pop Smoke and um, uh, uh, Rihanna, Britney Spears, um, all the movies that used it. It's still one of the number one karaoke, if not the number one karaoke song. Man, that's mm -hmm. epic. Let mm -hmm. me get one more out of you. What is your favorite recent memory um, from the last year? From the last year? Yeah, from this past year. Oh, from this like past year. Like this past year. year, what's the most favorite not, recent 23. memory? 23. 24. This past. Oh, 24. This yeah. past year. Okay. Um, My most memorable moment was is now just getting out of rehab and um 
um, I want to, you know, be one of the voices for people that's going through struggles, whether it be depression, alcoholism, all that. Don't be ashamed of it. I was, but you know, you know, to, uh, yesterday was my 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 release day. I, I got well, released yesterday. So, um, you know, it's 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 a, an amazing thing. I learned a lot, and I just want to tell people, you know, if you're going through something. Reach out to, you know, a loved one or somebody that, that can help you. But most of all, don't feel, um, you know, ashamed of it because it's a disease and it's something that a lot of people go through. And, um, you know, I, I'm just always anybody that's following me on Instagram at Genuine, you want to talk or whatever. I'm definitely going to do that. Um, it's so many podcasts and stuff out, so I'm not going to do that. But I'm trying to <laughs> figure out a way that I can help in different ways without the podcast stuff, because it's so much podcast it's oversaturated, it's oversaturated. Yeah. and i just want to come up with some, something new just like podcast is hot i want to come up with something new that's in my lane and you know all of that stuff so um again ne- don't be ashamed i was and i got over it and i had all my kids calling me we're proud of you dad we love you and all that and i say it with my shoulders back um i i i am an alcoholic and i'm a recovering alcoholic and you know a lot a lot of us artists we go through that and so um i'm healed at least every day you know i'm just taking the first step just keep going and keep going like i told my therapist and you know i I, i've been gone like like three three months so if i can go three months straight i can go six months straight if i can go six months straight i can go a year straight you know what i'm saying so so i multiply it like that man and so far i'm doing good i i don't like liquor i don't i don't you know uh do none of that anymore and i'm just happy that i'm seeing clear i'm not throwing up i'm not sick all the time i'm not tired i'm rejuvenated and i'm happy dude thank you so much for sharing you, your brother. vulnerability vulnerability and thank mm-hmm. you so much for sharing the talents with eau claire we thank appreciate you, having brother. you here. eau claire in the building <laughs>